Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Timmy Strata, and you're listening to MMALatestNews.com. It's time to roll, baby. Hello, and welcome back to MMA Latest. This is our UFC Newark preview and my betting tips for the card this weekend. Last week's card was a losing one for me, as I said to back Spencer over Cyborg, simply for the value, to be honest, and I think she was pretty close. There was no value in backing Cyborg. Make sure to come and follow us on BetBull. Be part of the social betting revolution and see what bets we're placing every week. Just download the app using the link in the description and search for MMA Latest and then you can see how good or bad our tips are every week. First up this weekend then, and it's Chaos versus Ruthless. Colby Covington squares off against former champion Robbie Lawler in the main event of this week's card. Former interim champ is looking to cement his name as the number one contender and line up a title match with the absolute god that is Kamaru Usman. Robbie Lawler, on the other hand, is looking to get back to winning ways after coming off a loss against Ben Askren at UFC 235. For me, that loss is a strange one. Robbie looked great in the beginning, and I think he was unlucky not to see the fight stopped. Robbie comes into the bout at 7-4, while Covington is a favourite at 2-5. I find it very hard to back against Lawler, but as much as I think that Colby is a bell end, I think he might have a little bit too much for Lawler this time around. I'm reluctantly going with Covington, but I will be keeping something back for Robbie too. Stay tuned for that one. So first one for the Akka then, I am bagging Covington to win at 2-5. to five. In the co-main we have a fight for the fans with Jim Miller coming up against Hall of Famer Clay Guida. Returning after his win against PJ Penn, Guida is coming into the fight at 5-4 to four, while in the red corner Miller is favourite at 4-7. to seven. I find it incredible that these two haven't fought each other before. 59 fights between them in the UFC is astounding. Guida is having a great time in the cage at the moment, winning three of his last four, whilst Miller comes in on the back of a submission victory over Jason Gonzalez back in April. I'm torn on this fight, but I know it'll be an absolute barn burner. I'm edging towards Miller at 4-11. Antonina Shevchenko, sister of flyweight champion Valentina, is also making a return to the cage after her recent loss against Roxanne Modeferi in April at UFC St. Petersburg. This weekend, her opponent is Lucy Pudelova, is also coming into the contest on the back of a loss against next weekend title contender Liz Carmouche. Both fighters will be looking to get back in the win column, and Betbull have the elder Shevchenko sister at 5 to 8 favourite, while a win for Pudelova is at 10 to 11. So I'm going to be sticking Shevchenko into my Aka, and I'm going to be taking up and comer Nazrat Hakpasarat over. Joaquin Silva and Gerard Mearshat over Trevin Giles as well. That completes my ACA. That's all coming at around about 10.5 to 1. If you fancy that, the link is in the description. Remember, please gamble responsibly. This is only for 18 and over, so if that's you, hit the link in the description and come and follow MMA Latest on Betbull. Right then, Steve's bet of the week. We've gone for an outside bet, and we have gone with Robbie Lawler to win via knockout, TKO or DQ, at odds of 11 to 4, because... Robbie Lawler, innit? Let us know your thoughts on the above. Do you agree with any of those picks? Do you disagree with them? Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Laters.